Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. And I'm Taylor Bradley. So, uh, people have been asking me to check out a documentary trailer. Don't really check these out too often. It's called The Nightmare. Um, okay. I'm excited. So I got like scared all of a sudden. <laughs> Did you really? And I was like, a documentary called The Nightmare? Like, that sounds horrifying. Um, I'm excited. Anyway. <sighs> Laying down to go to sleep. I would feel utterly exhausted, almost as if I had just been dropped. And my eyes sealed shut, my mouth sealed shut, and it's as if everything was shutting down except for my awareness, my consciousness. Oh, shit. I had zero control over my body. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't move my arms, my legs. I would try and fight it. It was just so strong. And then you awake, hoping you're totally paralyzed, you can't move. I began hearing voices and screams and crying. I would hear all the sounds of hell. And that is when the shadow man would come and he would walk disjointed. It's a kind of horror that is worse than like in the movies. You are going to die. <laughs> Wait a minute, it was sleep paralysis. Okay, I, I know it's sleep paralysis, but are they saying, suggesting that they all see like demon shadow things like when they sleep, like all these people, or is it just like this one person? I think it's a couple people and it's, it's a common thing. Okay, I'm the perfect person to watch this with because I have had sleep paralysis happen to me. That sounds like a joyful experience. And for it you. was the worst thing I've ever experienced in my whole life. And it's basically that. And I did see a shadow person and it's a very common thing. And it comes from like, there's this old idea that sleep paralysis is like this old woman who basically sits on your chest and takes your breath away until you potentially die. And that's why you hear like hell and you hear all of these scary, horrible things. And uh, shadow people are a very, very common thing to see in sleep paralysis. Like uh, shadow people and demons are like the thing that happens. And so yeah, I'm just freaking out over here because yes, that is completely true. I've experienced sleep paralysis. I've never like seen or heard anything like that though. Like ever, <laughs> um, it's it's ridiculously scary. It's it's a very common thing. People will like hear things about like death and hell, and they'll feel like they're dying, and they'll see people, and they'll see creatures and things. I've experienced prob like probably several minor experiences of it. Whenever I have it, is terrifying. Yes, <laughs> like, it's horrible. Like when you're like awake, but you just can't move, and like you're paralyzed. Yes, it's, it's terrifying. Yes, you and can't you even open to, your mouth. You just have to like focus so hard on trying yeah. to move one small part of your body, and once you can do that then you can come out of it the worst sleep paralysis i had was when i was went on for like a couple weeks where i just couldn't open my eyes like i'd be awake but my but my eyes just refused to like open a little for bit. weeks no i didn't close for weeks i'm saying like oh, okay. i would go I was sleep like... and then i would experience sleep paralysis right like every single day for weeks yeah that was pretty bad. That is scary when you feel like your eyelids have been uh, Glue, sewn like together. Sealed shut. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, it's really like you start freaking out. Like what if oh, they never yeah. open again? No, <laughs> yeah. I know. And you're like, what if I'm dead? And what if this is just forever? Yeah. No, I know. Mine, I could open my eyes, but I couldn't move. And mm. that was really, really frightening because I could see things around me and I could like feel people in the room with me. It was horrible. I'm not seeing this movie. This was horrible. I'm interested to see it. The no. Fact, the fact <laughs> that it's a documentary makes it really intriguing because there's so many like mock documentary uh, horror films. I think those are the just called mockumentaries. found footage films. It's interesting to be like, we got a legit documentary about sleep paralysis and how horrifying it is. I know. Like, that sounds interesting. I know. I'm really glad there were no jump scares. That's that. what I mean. Like, it looks genuinely it looks legit. scary. Yeah, it's like, it's like psychologically mm -hmm. scary. Rating time. I will definitely be awake <laughs> in the theaters to see
The nightmare. The nightmare. The nightmare. <laughs> I really want to see it, but I'm worried about my psychological well-being. So I feel like I'll probably see it um, if it comes out, again, Netflix, I'm all about Netflix. Mm -hmm. So I think if it comes out on Netflix and I'll be able to shut it off or walk away from it without having to spend $20, then I will probably watch it when it comes to Netflix, um, at least a part of it. Yeah, uh, that's too much for me to put in a title text and freeze frame, so we're moving on. <laughs> Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to The Real Rejects. You can check out Taylor's most recently relaunched channel. It's pretty awesome, It's pretty guys. awesome stuff. You go check and it out. it's like more than like vlogging, there's actual like material and content on there. Yes, songs, it's pretty songs, awesome. All sorts of stuff. Um, and you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're, we're trying to get uh, product placement for. Um, I really should like buy a set of props or something one day. What about this mouse? Um, I love the mouse that come with, uh, you know, that you buy for your computers. Uh, it allows you to navigate through the computer, makes it easier than using some pad on your laptop, and it gets you access faster to, you know, going around porn sites. Excellent. Like, when you go on like Pornhub, like there's That's so really many videos. If you want to just like, shh, okay, done, I got like 10 seconds, and then move, you move on and get that 10 seconds, and then you open up multiple ones as you're like, which one do I want to come to? This makes it easier to do the process. Goblin Inman, hey Ryan, and the rest of ya, yeah, I've watching you guys for a long while, and it would be the shit if ya yeah gave me a shout out. I got a joke. You guys gotta like read this. How do Chinese people name their babies? They throw them down the stairs to see what sound they make. That's hilarious. Anyway, my name is Isaac Inman. Can I have a shout out? I liked you better as Goblin. Yeah. Uh, Goblin Inman is the actual name. Uh, dude, you need to learn how to spell better. Something's grammatically wrong unless, with your vocabulary. Unless he's doing it to be cool. Maybe, or he might be from another country and doesn't speak English that well. That's true. Regardless, um, if an American were to come across this, they would their exact words would be, this Goblin Inman guy is one of the biggest fucking idiots I've ever heard about. So you might want to work on your spelling <laughs> a little bit. Heard about. Yeah.